Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing globals and you can access the global setup window by clicking the globals button here in the tools pane or by going to setup globals or by using the keyboard shortcut command G on the Mac or control G on the PC. Here we have the global setup screen and you'll see we have the cloud library tab as well as the budget tab as well as our categories on the left and the globals within each category on the right. So we can add a global by clicking add global and just starting to type here in the name field. And calculations can reference other globals like so. And the type ahead feature will help us select an existing unit. If we upload this global to our cloud, and again, the cloud library is accessible to you for any budget in the future, so there's no need to copy and paste setup tables from one budget to the other. You'll be presented with a warning message that'll let you know that reference setup items will be included. In this case, the global references a unit. So the unit day will come along with the global and any changes in that day unit will also be uploaded and will overwrite the value for that unit days in the cloud so that it's consistent and the global's value remains the same if you were to reuse it in the future budget. And we'll see that the folder structure will be preserved and you'll see the new global here. You can add a category by clicking add in the left rail. So we'll type my category. And there are no globals yet, but we can create globals directly in this category. Or we can simply go to a global and we'll select the global or globals we want to move and select move to category my category. And it will be there. And we can also upload this to the cloud, which will mirror the category folder structure here in the cloud. Thanks for watching and have a great day.